Wall Street is the greatest casino on earth, says our next guest, who also happens to be a mathematical genius. A card counter in Vegas turned Wall Streeter and best-selling author Edward Thorpe joins us, joins us now. Ed, uh, Edward, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. So I'm very excited to talk about your new book, A Man for All Markets, From Las Vegas to Wall Street, How I Beat the Dealer and the Market. Uh, just let's start off by giving our viewers uh, a brief journey from your card counting days to investing on Wall Street. Well, I got interested in card counting because as a mathematician, I happened to go to Las Vegas and play blackjack for fun. And when I did it, I saw how to beat the game. So I sat down to work it out with computers and uh, reasoning, and it worked, worked just fine. And then after I made some money with that and a, a, a best-selling book that I wrote about it, I went on to figure out how to invest in Wall Street. I didn't do very well to start, so then I really sat down and worked on it. And I developed some methods for analyzing options. And with that, I got my start. I formed a hedge fund. And uh, what I learned in the casinos proved out to uh, be very valuable in uh, Wall Street. There's a, quite a similarity between uh, casinos and Wall Street. Right. And let's expand on that because you say the similarity is not just because of the, the gambling factor of both the risk, but rather you say the markets are, are fixed. So l let's talk about that. Well, uh, fixed might be too strong a word, but the way things are set up, there are all kinds of people who collect tolls from investors in one way or another. There's been a recent flap, for example, about retirement funds and how the people who recommend choices to investors in their 401ks and uh, IRAs get paid for making investments that may be inferior or recommending investments that may be inferior. So all along the way, there are people collecting and not really contributing to the benefit of the investor. So how can investors beat the market then if they're going up against this? Well, amazingly, there's a very simple way, at least uh, for the time being and probably for the uh, intermediate future, and that is to invest in index funds. And if you can find low-cost ones that only charge you perhaps a 20th of a percent in uh, overhead costs, and maybe they pay a 20, 20th of a percent in uh, drain from trading costs. So that's very small. And you, you just sit there and you don't do anything, and so you're not paying any fee collectors, and you're getting the average result in the market before all these fees and costs. After the fees and costs, the other investors are doing considerably worse, and they're paying more taxes too because they're busy trading all the time. So, and what are your thoughts on, on gold? Our audience uh, loves the metal. Are, are the odds in, in favor of the gold market? Well, the history of gold over 800 years is that it's done about the same as inflation. So, I would, I would not actually invest in gold because I think that you will fall behind other investors over the longer term. I bought some gold coins back in the 80s and uh, I've made some profit on them, but it's been about as good as inflation. Right. Whereas if I had, uh, put my money in stocks or bonds, I would have done far, far better. So let's talk about your success, uh, Edward, just to wrap. So you turned, uh, how much was it, $1 million into over $273 million? Is that is that correct? Uh, it's hard to say. I had a hedge fund which in 18 years started with $1.4 million and it ended up with $273 million. The actual profits are uh, that order of magnitude, but there were capital inflows and outflows, so I, I can't say what the exact number is. We probably, over all the hedge funds that I ran, uh, made about $800 million for people over about 30 years. And just to wrap, what's one of the greatest lessons you learned uh, from you know, the floors of the casino and, and applying them to Wall Street? What can you share with investors here? Well, gambling is investing simplified, and it's a terrific training ground if you have a winning system for learning how to invest in Wall Street because you can get exact numbers and you can learn discipline and you can learn money management. All right. But if you don't have a system, don't go. All right. Well said. Edward, thank you so much. Continued success and hope to see it made into a movie one day. Thank you. I've enjoyed talking with you. And thank you for watching. We'll see you on Kickle's Gold Report tomorrow.